If it's not the Cedar brand, well, it's not the Cedar brand. Hello, this is C Dub with Loops by C Dub.com, and this tutorial is over installing and activating hoop triggers. All right, so um, you just got hoop triggers off the site, and for those who don't know what hoop triggers are, it's basically a software where anybody can back up a preacher. Uh, basically, it comes down to even just using a laptop computer, and that's it. Uh, that's what this software is about. So you're on the website, you just purchased uh, hoop triggers. And now you're going to go over to your email that you use when you purchase and you should have a um, an email basically that gives you the download and the activation code so you want to click on this link right here it's going to take you to the page where you can download the hoop triggers um, and it should look like this all right so once you click uh, right here where it says click here the download should begin and there we have it all right, so while that's going, we're going to go back over to the page where you purchase hoop triggers. We're going to scroll down, and there's going to be a link there to download the free Contact 5 players right here. Okay, so we're going to click that, and it's going to take us straight to nativeinstruments.com where you can download the free Contact 5 player. All right, or the Contact 5 player free download. All right, so what you want to do is put in your email address here. Okay. And it's going to send you the download for Contact 5 to your email address. All right. So you just click this Get Download link right here. Okay. Sometimes it takes a little while. Sometimes it happens instantly. Right here it says, if you can't find the email, please wait five minutes and um, check your spam folder if you don't see it uh, after five minutes. All right. So for us, we're going to go and we're going to see if it's already there. Now, if you're using Gmail, a lot of times Native Instruments emails will come in the promotional tab right here. All right. So you may not see it in the primary email right here. You may have to uh, click on the promotional tab and there it is right there. All right. So it's right here and it basically says, thank you very much for your interest in the Contact 5 player. Um, so you want to click on this link right here to download the Contact 5 player. All right. Now, I've already clicked it and I've already downloaded it, so I'm already good. But this is what you would click right here, and it would actually start um, start to download once you decide which version you need. If you have a PC, you go with this side. If you have a Mac, you're going to go here. I had a Mac, so I click this one, and the download will start it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I already have it. Uh, but just know that your download is going to your download folder. So if you have a... Mac, whether it's a Mac or a PC, once it finishes, that's where you will find it in the download folder. All right. All right. So while this is going, we're going to go to our download folder, uh, which you'll find right here on the Mac where it says downloads. Um, and then we're going to see the Contact Fire Player DMG. If it's in a uh, PC, it'll be an EXE file. Um, and then this is where the other one's downloading. It just hasn't finished yet. So we're going to click on it. It's going to open up. And we're going to go ahead and set up Contact 5, you know, while the hoop triggers are still downloading. Uh, we're going to go through, continue, continue, continue. All right, agree, <laughs> continue, and install. You type in your password. And install software. It's going to install. and there we have it all right so now we're going to go to our applications folder and we should see it native instruments right there contact five contact five player so um for mac users i like to just go ahead and drag this down uh down here yeah to the dock so it'll just be there so i don't have to hunt for it anymore and we'll open it up all right uh so we go ahead and type in the password again All right, so when you first open up the Contact 5 player, this, this screen is going to come up. And basically, it's just trying to decide, you know, where is the audio coming from, where is it, um, you know, coming out of, and all that kind of stuff. And for the most part, it's already going to be set up uh, for you. So um, for me, since I'm doing this video for you, I'm going to choose my uh, audio interface so that you can hear it once we get everything set up. 
Okay. If it was just if you just planning on playing this straight out of your computer, you'll choose the built in output. Okay. The built in output. All right. So I'm gonna choose OK. Uh, please close and restart after a sample rate change. Cool. We haven't changed the sample rate, so we're good. All right. So this is the contact five player. So now we're just waiting on the hoot triggers to finish downloading. It's about a two gig download. So it could take a little while. This this program, why we why we're waiting on it to download. You know, if your computer only has four gigs of RAM or less, you know, you may want to think twice about this program. Um, or just get another computer. Um this this program is not for your rinky dink computer that you just you know get on Black Friday, you know, for hundred and fifty dollars. No. You need to have a really decent computer. I suggest at least a computer with eight gigs of RAM to make sure that everything runs smoothly and you don't have any issues, any problems downloading. Uh, the product as well as installing and activating so uh, I, I suggest eight gigs of RAM or more uh, in your computer all right so now that hoop triggers has downloaded um, we're gonna go back to our download folder now it's, it's very important that you keep your folders open and you keep your your email open as well because you're gonna need some of these things that are in these folders and emails later on so you don't want to just close everything out uh, so we'll go back to our download folder as we can see here's the hoop triggers um, uh, download now. This is the contact five player here. This is the this is the contact five. This is hoop triggers. All right, you're not going to get anything by uploading this zip file or trying to add this zip file to the library. No, the first thing you must do, whether it be a Mac or PC, is unzip this file. If it's a PC, it's extract. Um, and most likely, there's a program on your uh, computer already that can do that. It's nothing uh, major about doing it. It's just double click it. And on the Mac, it's going to open it up. And now we have the folder, all right, that we, that we need right here. Okay, so now once again, double-clicking this folder and going in and trying to find the file to open up Hoot Triggers, it's not going to work that way, all right? This is not how it works. You need to add this whole folder to the Contact 5 player. So how do you do that? We're going to go up here to the left side uh, to Add Library, all right? So you see it right here. You're going to Add Library. All right, and you're going to find the folder that you just downloaded. All right, so remember it's in our downloads. Okay, so I'm going to click on downloads here, and we're not going to look for the zip file. Here's the zip file right here. Notice you can't even do anything with that. We're going to look for this folder right here that says Hoop Triggers Ultimate. Now, you don't need to actually double click it or anything like that. You just need to highlight it and press open right here. Uh, in the box okay or on a PC it might just say okay of course it's going to ask you to type in your password because you're adding something to because uh, you're adding something new to your computer so we'll do that alright so this is what it should look like once you add the library to contact 5 you should see the hoop triggers logo here uh, you should say browse and you should see an activate button right here in the top right corner of the library alright so, browse, you should see multis, and you should be able to double click on that and see three different versions here uh, of the hoop triggers. All right, just like you saw in the video before you purchase. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is activate it. If you don't activate it, um, the hoop triggers will work, but it'll only work for maybe around 10 to 15 minutes, and then it's going to time out and you're not going to get any sound or anything out of it. That's not what you want. You want to activate your hoop triggers, and the way you're going to activate it is by the email that you got from me when you purchase hoop triggers okay we're gonna go back to that right here and it shows your code right underneath here alright this is gonna be your code so we're gonna go back to contact and we're gonna click the activate button alright so it's gonna open up this uh, box right here and you're gonna put in the email address that you use alright Now, if you haven't created a password, you're going to need to because this is basically your account that's going to uh, activate all your native instrument products. Um, if you haven't created an account, just hit create new user account. And just fill out the information. All right. So I'll put in my name, accept the terms. I'm going to create it. 
Now, as you can see, it didn't ask me to put in a password. Uh, normally, it does. I'm not sure why, but I'm glad that happened because now I can show you what to do if that happens. All right. So basically, uh, you just go back to this page right here and you just do forgot password. All right. Once you click on that, it's going to send you um, the password it created for you. All right. And this is the email right here. You'll get uh, you have a new username and password. All right. So here's your password right here. You can just copy and paste this for right now, and you can go back and change it later. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to copy and paste it, and we'll put it right here. Okay? See, this is why I said it's important that you leave your emails open and don't close out everything so you'll be able to uh, get back to them fast. So now that we're logging in, uh, this is where you activate the hoop trigger. So now let's go back to the email I sent you, and we'll copy and paste this code right here all right and basically if you just copy it right there and then just paste it into this one box it should populate through the whole thing and then it says the serial number is correct we hit activate put in your password one more time product was activated successfully so now you see that activate button here is gone now so that means your hoop triggers are now activated and they won't time out on you 10 minutes into the sermon <laughs> all right so now the first thing you really want to do um, before you even really get started with everything else is go to this this uh, settings button right here is right here and you're gonna go down to handling and you want to select this right here use computer keyboard for MIDI playback all right that's what's going to allow you to use your laptop uh, to to trigger the hoop triggers all right that's very very important uh, if you're using a keyboard you go down here to MIDI and your keyboard if you have it hooked up USB to your computer uh, it should come uh, it should show up down here all right and you would just basically hit this and just choose port A um, and you'd be good to go all right make sure if you are using a keyboard that your keyboard is set internally to transmit MIDI via USB you have the option either via a MIDI cable or USB so make sure uh, it's um, set inside your settings of your keyboard to transmit MIDI via USB all right so we'll close this now we can open it up and since I'm just on my laptop I'm going to choose the musical typing version it'll always ask you this uh, if you want to replace multi just always say yes um, and you'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. Hoop triggers are up. Okay. Uh, now, the one thing I like to make sure you bring up is the keyboard down here because that kind of helps you see what's going on, and you can kind of use that to uh, to get your hoop trigger started. So you want to click on this icon right here and go down to keyboard, or you can just press F3 as it said. Um, and now we can see exactly. If you if you had a keyboard where the triggers would be but in order to get these started you need to uh, click on one of the red keys okay that's showing uh, basically letting you hear what key uh, the triggers are, are about to be in all right so we're good to go now um, that's that's it that's basically how you get it started that's how you get uh, your hoop triggers activated uh, installed and everything like that Hope this tutorial helped you out. This is C-Dub once again with Loops by C-Dub.com. If it's not the C-Dub brand, well, it's not the C-Dub brand.